Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and in this episode of Practical Applications of Science, we're going to be covering the study titled Resistance Training Frequencies of 3 and 6 Times Per Week Produce Similar Muscular Adaptations in Resistance Trained Men from the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research. So in this study, essentially what they did was they got 27 resistance trained men and they took them through six weeks of volume equated resistance training programs. So there was two training programs, both went for six weeks, both had the same volume. The only difference was the training frequency. So 14 subjects did this resistance training program with a frequency of three times per week, whereas the other 13 subjects did the same program with a frequency of six times per week. So they did exactly the same exercises and exactly the same number of sets for 6 to 12 reps per set to failure. So the same training session wasn't performed 3 or 6 times per week. It was the same exercises and the same number of sets. But essentially, the resistance training program, the volume was distributed over either 3 or 6 days in the week. So essentially the group that did six sessions per week did the same program as the group that did three sessions per week, although they split them up into smaller exercise sessions. So what happened? If we have a look here, the study measured hypertrophy and strength. So in terms of hypertrophy, they measured the thickness of the biceps, the triceps, the rectus femoris, and the vastus intermedius, so another quadriceps muscle. And essentially after the six-week training program, all the muscle groups basically equally got bigger to about the same amount. The only difference was here in the biceps where we can see in the group that did six times per week frequency actually regressed in terms of muscle thickness, whereas the group that did three times per week increased their muscle thickness around 7%. It's unsure why these results occurred in the biceps. The authors suggested it may be because other compound movements they did such as rowing, may have interfered with the recovery process. However, I find that's probably not the real reason since the other muscle groups were hit on just as frequent of a basis as the biceps. So this may be just due to sheer chance that this happened because every other muscle group didn't have any statistical difference between the training frequencies. In terms of strength, the researchers measured the squat 1RM before and after the intervention, and the bench press 1RM before and after the intervention. And we can see here that there is no significant difference between them after the intervention. They both got stronger to a similar extent. So what does this mean? Basically, this study is showing us that as long as the volume is equated, gains in size and strength are probably not influenced very much by training frequency. This study really stresses the importance of the total weekly volume in terms of muscle size and strength gains rather than the exact frequency. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.